Hi, I'm Ted Nelson. We're going to talk about reading parallel and writing parallel, meaning reading and writing connected pages. So here's a bunch of connected pages, which we call a flight. First, let's talk about reading a flight. Some people think it might be hard to keep track of, just as it's sometimes hard to keep track of your place on a printed page. Won't having multiple pages be confusing? It needn't be. The interface should keep track of what parts you've seen and had open, and you should be able to, through the, to underline and annotate through the magic of Zen links, which we'll get into later. So you're both a reader and a writer like anyone who take note, takes notes in the world of paper. Except in our system, the notes stay attached to what you're making notes about if you want to see them. So writing is intrinsically part of the Xanadu concept. Which leads us to the problems of writing in general. Let's talk about why writing is hard. My fundamental motto, there is too much to say, and it goes in all directions. <clears throat> this is true in any subject. Writing is the process of reducing and simplifying the complexity. Deciding what to say is hard, and that's an ongoing process as you write. Deciding where to put it what to put, and what to put in. What to put in and where to put it. So will writing parallel be easier? Writing in parallel may be easier. Dividing the problem up and looking for sequences. There are two off aspects of writing often combined. There are lots of items and points you may want to put in, phrasings, and there's the classic notion of an outline, but there's also the through line. Through line and outline. The two approaches, the through line approach and the outline approach. Maybe you were taught in school that you start with an outline section by section and that's how much technical writing is done, but prose writing, the finest New Yorker writing, many books, is written on a through line. And there are items and points you want to put in. Lots of items and points you may want to put in. <clears throat> and you have a starter and a finish. Zingers, often. So, really, the two methods generally combine. I especially re recommend a New Yorker article by John McPhee. <clears throat> it's on the net. It's spelled M-C-P-H-E-E, -E, a very fine writer. The article is called Structure. When he was writing his first New Yorker article, he had all his research done, but he lay on a picnic table for two weeks, not knowing where to start. Finally, he got his through line. Much writing, whether in a book or an essay, is on a through line, for often from zinger to zinger, where the zinger at the beginning comes up again at the end. I only heard the term through line a few years ago, but that's what I had always been doing. Deciding what to say first is hard because that's implicitly deciding on the rest of the structure. Writing in parallel should be quite a bit easier. You can, rep you can represent hierarchy with parallel structures much more than you can represent parallel structure with hierarchy. Okay. Dividing and condensing. So the process of writing is dividing, will be, div will be dividing into flying pages, then condensing. As with much good writing, you may decide the structure at the end. You may narrow it down to three or four Zana pages, but you don't have to cut so much. One of the great things about parallel writing is that you don't need to cut so much, you can just put the more obscure stuff in parallel pages for readers who might be interested. And now, a technical point about copy and paste. You are presumably familiar with the terms cut and paste and copy as pay and paste, which have been used in most word processors since 1984, having nothing to do with the old meaning of cut and paste. My first job at the New York Times, I filled the paste pots for the New York, for the New York Times writers who would then cut their articles and repaste them in, in another sequence. Okay, we don't have so-called copy and paste. We transclude which means you pull in a quote from an original and that keeps the path back to the original as explained in an earlier video. This has been my all too brief discussion of parallel writing as made possible by the document structure I have been telling you about. Thank you.